Hi, this is Taria Brooks with AtHomePixels.com. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about if you should be selling on eBay. I've been selling on eBay since 2014, and so I have quite a bit of experience working with eBay in and out of its platform and how it works, and so I have a few things to say. So this is going to be part my review on eBay and part pros and cons of if selling on eBay will work for you. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start out with the pros, the good things about selling on eBay. eBay is super easy to get an account. Probably one of the easiest platforms that you can get an account um, in terms of like Amazon and Etsy some of those other more popular accounts, eBay is super easy. The second pro would be the competition. And I'm not saying that there's no competition on eBay. eBay is actually one of the top e-commerce sites in the, in the world. Um, however, the competition is different than that on other platforms. And let me explain what that means. So on eBay, the way that you get ranked and the way that your listings get seen by potential customers is by following their rules, making sure you have a solid listing with good pictures, good keywords, doing everything that eBay wants you to do, uh, maintaining a good seller rating, um, having good feedback, all of those things will get you seen in search results, as well as popularity and the price of the item, to name a couple more. Now, you would think that that's what every platform would be, right? If you kind of abide by their rules and their standards and you're a good seller and you do all these things that you'd be seen in listings. While that's true on eBay, it isn't true on other platforms, namely Amazon, um, where they utilize a bestseller ranking um, system. So as long as you have great listings, good keywords, all of those things, and your product is something that is in demand and customers are looking for, eBay is a great place to be. The third pro that I want to talk about is the ease of getting paid on eBay. Um, getting paid on eBay is super awesome and super quick. The payments on eBay can be pretty much instantaneous. Once a buyer purchases and pays for their product, like you'll get paid even before it ships which isn't true of other platforms. Some platforms you have to wait a few days, some platforms you have to wait like two to three weeks before you get paid on that particular listing. Some platforms even wait until it has been um, shipped or even delivered. Keep in mind that eBay may put a temporary hold on payments being released immediately just until your account gets set up and a little bit more established. Okay, and the last pro that I wanted to talk about is their global shipping program. Um, when I was selling on eBay, I utilized their global, shipping, their global shipping program and I loved it because it didn't cost me any extra money um, and it put the extra cost of utilizing that shipment into the customer's hands and so I just shipped it to a um, database that I think was in Kentucky and then eBay took care of the rest and so it was really nice that I didn't really have to deal with international customers. I've done both though. I've also utilized shipping without the globalized shipping program um, but there's just a little bit more um, intimacy involved with the customer meaning you know if there's any issues or whatever they're going to come to you and want those um, issues to be rectified whereas the global shipping program like they take care of all of that which makes it super easy and super nice to um, handle some of those more difficult international shipments okay so now let's talk about the cons and keep in mind that this is going to be biased and that it is based off of my account and my experience of selling on eBay. And it will be helpful, especially for those who are in a similar selling niche than I am. Um, I've sold regular stickers on eBay. I've sold wall decal, vinyl, home decor stuff. I've sold wood signs, um, those type of more handmade or specialty items. 
Um, and so that's where I'm coming from in terms of like what category I was selling in. And so that might be helpful if you're going to be selling in a similar category. So the first con would be that your target market doesn't shop on eBay. And this was the case for me. Believe it or not, eBay used to be my number one selling platform. I outsold eBay over all other platforms when I first got started for probably a year, maybe two, until Etsy and Amazon kind of took over um, those, those sales. Now, the reason why I say that my target audience doesn't shop there is because they don't. They're going to Etsy, um, they are going to Amazon, and they're going to my website. However, Etsy is where my customers are shopping. If they want a vinyl, home decor, decal, or anything related to that, they're going to know that they can get it at Etsy. So my situation was that my buyers just simply stopped shopping there. I think that eBay is a good platform for other sellers, um, but for my particular niche, I found that my customers just weren't showing up. The second con would be their listing requirements. Now, when you put up a listing on eBay, it asks for a lot of specifics. You know, the brand, the type, what it's made out of, the size, the shape, the material, all of these different things. Um, and it's gonna vary depending on what category you sell in. Now, what I found super annoying was that eBay came out every once in a while. It seemed like they came out like once a year or so of, hey, we have new listing requirements and you need to update all of your listings before such and such date deadline. And so I was like, okay, I've got to do that. Well, I had hundreds of listings. Each listing or design had four or five different sizes. And then I had about 20 colors to choose from. Um, all of my products I made to order because of the vast expansion of how many options just one listing could produce. Um, so when I was required to change an item specific, I had to change them on every single variation. So like for an example, if I had like a 12 inch decal in white, um, well then I have to change the 12 inch decal in blue and the 12 inch decal in black and the 12 inch. So it was like 80 or more listings within one parent listing that I had to change. And let me tell you, over hundreds of listings, it was extremely excruciating, mind-numbing, horribleness that took me weeks and weeks and weeks to do. And um, I eventually stopped updating those listings because of the sheer amount of volume and time and commitment that it required to change those. It was just like, it's just not even worth it at this point to spend that much time. Now, I do wanna say that they do have a bulk editing tool and in certain circumstances, that bulk editing tool does work really well, but some of these item specifics, you still have to go in there and like click one at a time or highlight them all at a time. It was just not great. So needless to say, after that happened a few times, it was just kind of like, I can't do this. And if you don't update your listing to meet their requirements, then it's not gonna be seen in search. If it's not seen in search, then obviously you're not gonna get sales and your eBay store explodes. <laughs> and that leads me into the next con, which is that listing with multiple variations is a pain. Um, so like I just described, my one single parent listing had multiple chi child listings below that, um, all nestled under the same parent listing. And so it created a difficult listing process um, that again was just time consuming. And then another con to kind of continue on with this um, variation too much going on um, is that managing stock on your eBay shop is not easy. Um, I had never found a way to automate that on, on eBay. If I was out of stock, I never got a notification that it was. I would usually get an email from a customer or a message from a customer that said, hey, I'm interested in this particular decal, 
but the white one says it's out of stock when you're gonna restock it and it's like oh well let me do that now because I would just on on like Etsy for an example I would put in 1,000 quantity and so when I had a thousand quantity it would sell and sell and sell and sell and sell and then it would notify me hey this is low on stock you need to restock it and because it's made to order I don't really need to keep track of an actual stock however on eBay the reason why I did have to keep track of my stock is because they put like a cap on how much you can sell so if you were to take all of my few hundred listings that I have on eBay and put a price to every single size every single color every single everything the amount of potential sales was in the millions eBay caps you at a particular dollar amount and so I had to go in and lower my stock to like five to ten items per variation because if I didn't I would have so much potential inventory that it it capped me and it and I couldn't list anymore and so as a result I had to go and change all of my stock information and then when it would sell out I wouldn't know that it would it would get sold out until a customer emailed me or if I went in and painstakingly looked at every single listing and every single color you can see how I kind of have a big issue with the multiple variations and so that's why it just makes it really difficult to sell my particular products or any type of other similar products on eBay okay the next con that I have is traffic loss for handmade and graphic sellers or people that are in my particular category of selling um, if you go and search um, traffic loss on eBay you will see forum after forum after forum after forum of other sellers experiencing traffic loss now there's a variety of reasons why this could happen but within the last seven eight years that I've been on eBay I found that there were always forums and always people being like what happened to the algorithm I don't understand why my sales just dropped all of a sudden um, lots of people leaving eBay and so I know that there's a variety of reasons for that um, I just found it kind of interesting but in doing research for this particular video I found out that eBay is actually one of the very top online marketplaces in the entire world it's doing really good Amazon is like light years ahead but eBay is second third place um, if you look at a lot of the statistics you can find around the internet um, and that kind of surprised me I thought that it was going to be a lot lower than that I personally experienced traffic loss year over year over year um, whereas I think other sellers who have a solid um, product with not like a ton of variation something that's more easier to manage they would probably have a better chance of selling on eBay than somebody like me okay and then the last con I have is the fees I found with um, my store that I do I did pay a monthly service for and all the listing fees and the transaction fees and everything it was my highest it charged the highest fees of all the platforms that I sell on um, I was making a dollar fifty to two dollars more for a twenty dollar item with four dollar shipping costs um, and that can add up over time and um, you know when you sell hundreds or thousands a month that adds up really quick and your bill can be a lot higher than you want now I will say that eBay is competitive in their fees and their fees vary widely it depends on so many things you know if you have a fixed listing or an auction style listing or if you have a buy it now price or if you're selling through their um, PayPal or within eBay's own like system kind of like Etsy does um, you know if you do different upgrades on your listing like there's so many factors that are in play that that ultimately depend on what your fees are okay so in conclusion and where do I stand now is like I said in 2014 eBay was my most profitable and best-selling platform and I really really liked it in the beginning um, but after time things change and things update and you know buyers aren't coming 
and I just found that for my particular products it just wasn't working um, and this isn't to say that it may not work for you um, but I officially closed my eBay store at the beginning of this year it was just too complicated we weren't making enough sales it just made more sense to close it out and focus our efforts elsewhere now this is just my experience it isn't to say that eBay is not for you I in my research kind of found that if you have a um, product that is just simple and straightforward and you don't have all of these sizes and colors and different variations to choose from then I think eBay would be a fantastic place for you to sell however if you're kind of more in the handmade um, specialty custom items those type of things then I think that a place like Etsy or maybe um, Amazon had made would be a better fit for you. Now obviously you want to do your own research and maybe this video even helps in that research, but doing your own research and figuring out what is best for your customers, where your product is best suited to be sold. Um, make sure that your customers are going to eBay if you are interested in selling on eBay. Well, that about wraps this video. I'm so glad that you came and found me. If you want more information on anything about selling online, especially in related to um, some of the graphics products that I mentioned in this video, head on over to my website at homepixels.com where I teach other people like you to sell online and do what I do. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Um, I know I've been missing a little bit, kind of a lot of it in the last year. Um, life has just keep throwing me curveballs, but um, I'm here, I'm dedicated, I'm going to be making a big change. I've been able to kind of focus a bunch of my things around so that I can be dedicated to this channel and more importantly to athomepixels.com. I will be seeing you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.